Hey, what's up, guys? This is Nerve, and today we have Bullet for his introduction. What's up, man? What's up? Uh, you were formerly known as what? Optic Bullet and many other bullets. And a lot of bullets. You just yeah. You're like a for clip. Years, like years and years. Yeah, it's a horrible game to tell you. Anyways, um, <laughs> moving on. You are playing Black Fail Ops. Right here. Yeah. <laughs> How could you, like, almost jump at the top of that and then completely miss? I think that was, like, the Michael Jordan of Black Ops. Horrible 360 because you are on, like, a 3 sensitivity or something right now. But, I, actually, I actually play on 7. So. And that was a 7? Yeah, it was a 7 on Black Ops. Then you need to get a um, no-slow controller or something like that, whatever it's called. It's where um, your stuff's, like, slower than what it should be. But moving on... Um, for the people on the Defy HQ channel, or the Call Me Nerve, whatever, um, why don't you go ahead and tell them what they can expect from you, uh, what you're about, and stuff like that. Um, I do a lot of mini-edits, commentaries. I haven't done a full-length montage yet, but that's what's coming out. I got, like, 20-something clips, and they're all... And they're, it's all Black Ops. Like, I, I'm going to leave Call of Duty 4 to Jazz and Zay and Trauma, because that's just what they do. I'm... I'm just going to stick to my Black Ops because that's what I'm good at. Well, that's debatable. Um, so you are going to be sticking to Black Ops right there. You fell and then get a hit marker. That's the reason why I don't like sniping on any game is because hit markers are so retarded. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It, to me, it seems that it's... I know a lot of people don't believe this, but it, to me, it, it's a lot better in Black Ops, the hit markers, because I don't get that many, and I feel right here, too, I think. Oh, my God, this is so bad. But, um, yeah, in Black Ops, uh, it, it seems like you don't get as many hit markers. And, like, you'll see throughout the video, there's, like, three of those where I just, like, stop moving, and it's because the host migrated, and I had to mash the video together. Okay. But in Black, o in Black Ops, it just seems like... Uh, you don't get as many hit markers, but I go on Modern Warfare 2 and you, you have your intervention and it's pretty bad. Yeah, but that's I mean, just but... dependent on, you know, what you play. Like, if you play hardcore, obviously you're not going to get those hit markers. I know that you're a core yeah. player. You know, you stick to regular game types and stuff like that. Um, that's what you've always been about because you come from a competitive background, right? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. So why don't you go ahead and let people know what you've done in the competitive environment and uh, that good stuff. Um, I played in some of the Call of Duty 4 Pro Circuit Ladders. Um, I actually played sixth in one of them, which is a lot better than most people have. That's like my only good placing, but um, I did play in the Machinima Frag Cup for Call of Duty. Not going to say who I lost to. No, why don't you go ahead and let people know about that? Uh, well, I pretty much got raped by Nerve Team. So uh, just, rape is a nice word. Happened. Rape's a nice it, word. Because before the match, you were like, yeah, man, we're going to... We're gonna beat you. We're gonna give you for your money. We're gonna, we're gonna beat you. And that was completely, you know, it was. We weren't expecting you to go total try hard camping corners the whole game. We didn't camp corners. It was a five thousand dollar match. What do you expect us to do? Like, I understand that, you know, I think it's more respectful. That's that is a competitive match, okay? But the way that we lost well, the one, man, one man army, that is not a competitive match. That's something that you don't see in any type of MLG and stuff like that. But against you, you know, you see that. You know, that's what you expect. And I know that you had one man army in Nate's spots, and you just got screwed because um, you, it was Skid Row. There's nothing you can really do with that, you know? Yeah, that, that did mess me up pretty bad. Y'all got raped. No doubt about it. I mean, like... It wasn't even close. Like, I think it was over 100, right? Yeah, it was, like, it was close in the beginning. I failed a clip right here. I, it was close in the beginning, but then um, at the uh, end, it, you kind of got us three-capped, and then we got, and then you got us two-capped. We could do nothing about it. You had those those outside two positions. And, like, well, I'll we, give we were you a thinking, hint. What you could have yeah. done is killed us and taken the flags, but you couldn't do that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. Um... But yeah, like uh, I remember that match. We um, we felt that we put you on C spawn, which is actually in our mind the better spawn. Um, but we put you on C spawn, and then we completely left A alone. We rushed all three guys to B, and uh, immediately tried grenading C and stuff like that to, to try to flip the spawns. 
Um, yeah. Because we felt that we can get to B faster from A spawn, but the setup, you want to hold B and C on that map. You know, anybody that knows domination, um, that's what you want to do because you can control the spawns a little bit better and stuff like that. You can watch green room. But um, that didn't work out to our advantage, and that's where you kind of got a little bit of points on the front end. And then, like I would say, 30 seconds or 10 seconds into the game, it was downhill for you. Yeah, you guys figured out that holding the side spawns are a lot easier than holding B at another spawn. Yeah, so, um, you know, it was a fun match. You know, a little shit talk before the match went on. But, you know, at the end of the day, it was uh, good times. And I think you apologized. You are like, man, I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't think you guys would be that good. Well... Yeah. When you watch our videos, it, it doesn't look like we're that outstanding, but it's all about teamwork, and that's what people don't you get understand. Shit done. Yeah, you don't understand that you know competitive environments all about teamwork, and that's the thing that I really like about the competitive arena is the fact that you know whenever you're in a match and you're in a, like a really you know good match, your whole entire team like the mic will always be moving. You know, mm -hmm. um, yeah. now search and destroy. It's not so much because it's a lot of camping here and there. But in domination, um, I would say domination on scrapyard is one of my favorite maps because it's so much communicating and it's like so much fun. You know, you're 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 sitting there, you're doing call outs and then, you know, you go back and you you like I did a recording. I did a live commentary once or something like that. Um, I ne it never really made it to YouTube because I felt that I sounded like a complete nerd um, because I was sitting there. I was like. Top L, top L. Oh my God, no, he's moving around to the back wall, back wall, back A wall, back A wall. You know, we're sitting there, we're doing all these call outs and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, it makes you sound really nerdy, but it's really enjoyable. And I think that's the reason why um, I still play video games. Like, I, I can't pub, you know, because it gets so boring to me. But competitive, it, it's a whole entire different thing. Yeah. Uh, I kind of moved away from competitive, though, because competitive, there's like, in the. If, if I played Halo or like gears or rainbow like then it'd be another story but competitive call of duty like it it's really uh, unstable teams and just it's full of drama in my opinion yeah but it's fun whenever you get a you know i was i was fortunate to have a good group of guys that stay together for quite yeah. some time you know i so. mean that was like their first team they were on with you and they stuck with you forever too pretty much yeah I, you know beastie when i first joined i remember or eaten i remember he was like happy with a 50 50 record and it was really funny i came from 145 three team and he was happy with a, a 20 and 20 team i was like what no uh but this video <laughs> is winding down be sure to check out the description for if this is on bullish channel for the team channel and if it's on the team channel then for bullish channel thanks for watching guys yep peace trauma faggot Bullet, did that you okay? hit up? 38 and 4 you got demolished dude in that match how to get the mall? I'm at 38 That's so fun. You're like, no. Bro, I'll give you a hint. You could have killed us and took the flags. <laughs> <laughs> oh my.